and I can't have that on the internet. I know I'd be looking crusty sometimes, but it's okay, it's okay. I have no idea where I'm going, I'm just trying to get out. You can see the lights that they have shining for remembrance of 9-11. Oh my goodness, I look like a bug. Good morning guys, happy Saturday. It is the Saturday after New York Fashion Week and I'm absolutely exhausted, but the show must go on. I slept in a little bit later than I was supposed to uh, just because I was so tired, but I'm finally up and I'm about to head to the post office because I ordered like a new um, fall winter wardrobe from Shein but the turtlenecks that I ordered are a little too small so I'm gonna return them and then order some more in a bigger size I'm gonna size up um, so yeah I'm just gonna drop off this package at the UPS and then I'm gonna get my day started I'm wearing these shades because I just woke up and my face is a little bit swollen because I slept with the window open last night and so my nasal cavity is just all messed up and so like this whole area is kind of swollen and I can't have that on the internet so I just put my shades on to kind of like mask my face right now I don't know how you guys be sleeping with the air conditioner on I feel like I'm like the only person on earth who doesn't like sleeping in the cold it could be like 75 80 degrees in my room and I'm gonna sleep like a baby but once you turn that air conditioner on oh my god like my nose is just running I wake up sick it's just not a great experience Surprisingly, it wasn't even that packed. Like, usually on the weekends, the post office is like packed because everybody couldn't go, I guess, during the weekdays, but it actually went pretty fast. And just a side note, you guys, if you live in Brooklyn and go to the post office, don't be surprised if you get some attitude. Just, you know, let it go. You know, maybe they're not having the best day, but it is pretty common to work with post office staff that just have like the worst attitudes. Thankfully, I found a good post office where all the staff is pretty personable and like nice and I never have any trouble. Um, but when I first moved up here, <laughs> I definitely got a lot of attitude, like for no reason at all. You would walk in and be like, good morning, and they wouldn't even say anything to you, so yeah just a little like heads up now i'm just going to head home and do some laundry i left my clothes in the uh dryer last night so i have to put those up last night i stayed up until about 2 a.m going through all the emails that i neglected during fashion week just because i didn't have the time to really like go through them um so i finished at around 2 a.m last night and now i have like a compiled to-do list of all the castings i have to submit today um, so I'm gonna put up my laundry and then do some self tapes and then hopefully uh, get to the botanical gardens if the line is not too long we'll just see how the time goes how do you guys feel about these shades I feel like with the right outfit it would be cute but right now I'm just in a hoodie and I look like a bum so I feel like I'm not really it's not really giving what it's supposed to give but I don't know I feel like as a content creator there's like this pressure to constantly look cute on the internet but I can't even lie to you guys, like I really be looking crusty sometimes, like it's after fashion week, I just wanna like be in my hoodie and shorts and sneakers and call it a day. I'm sorry you guys have to look at this right now, but <laughs> it is a lot of pressure to like constantly look good and I don't wear makeup, so like I don't even have that going for me, but I'm pretty confident in myself. I know I still look cute even when I do look like a bum, so it is what it is, but I did just wanna like throw that out there like I know I be looking crusty sometimes but it's okay it's okay So this one self tape is actually requesting a lot more than I thought so I'm walking to a park like a random park to try to get everything that I need 
to submit it. I really can't wait for the day when they decide to do away with self-tapes altogether and just go back to all in-person castings. But now I think that they like self-tapes so much because it's so convenient and virtual that they're probably just gonna probably do that until the end of time. But I really prefer casting in person as opposed to doing all this work to like submit a two second video. Six hours later. I'm literally still editing and sending castings. Like I was supposed to be done two hours ago. It always takes me way longer than need be to submit these things because I'm just so like particular and like nitpicky and like a perfectionist. This is why I hate self tapes. Like I would rather just go into the audition, get like one or two takes and then be done. Like I'm so over this. But I'm gonna try to finish within the next 30 minutes um, so that I can get to the gardens before nightfall, before it gets dark and I can't even see anything, so yeah. Okay, but I finally finished everything, submitted everything, and made it to the gardens. Today is the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks, and so uh, Brooklyn Botanical Gardens is offering free admission today, so I'm taking advantage of it and I'm here. Not so good circumstances of why they're doing free admission, but I'm glad they're doing it. My friend may be coming, I'm not sure, but I just decided to come because I wanted to come before uh, we lost daylight, so I'm just gonna walk around and I guess wait for him to get here. There are so many paths here, I'm not even sure which way to go. I should have grabbed a map. I found this little secluded area and I'm like trying to take pictures for Instagram. I'll insert like some of the best ones up here, but this light is popping. Okay, I'm gonna go see the rest of the garden now. <laughs> Y'all, it's one, two, three paths. I don't know which one to take. Like, I'm gonna just go to this one, but I don't even know if I just came from this one. I think I'm gonna just go. Wait, I think I just came from the end. Never mind. I'm so confused. Okay, so I ended up in the same spot that I was just at. So I'm going to go back where I came from and pick a different path. Y'all, this is a dead end. Like, what the heck? They're going to have me trapped in here. Oh, my goodness. Everybody's confused because they don't know which way to go. They need to have, like, some arrows or something showing you, like, the right path to take. I've literally been walking around in circles for the past, like... 10 minutes i have no idea where i'm going i'm just trying to get out and the pictures and stuff that i've seen like on the website and on the internet it looked way more lively than this like everything looks dead you guys it's just like i'm walking around looking at dead leaves oh one survivor oh how cute initials inscribed in the trees hopefully all these people are still together so i walked around this entire thing my friend is still not here. I don't know what he's doing at this point, but I'm kind of hungry. So I'm just <laughs> like, I kind of just want to go eat. This is like the iffy thing about like hanging out with people and making plans with people. Like you have to actually wait on them. And I think that's why I enjoy doing most things by myself because I don't have to work on anyone else's schedule. But I'm going to check and see where he's at. And then we're going to head to get food, I think, hopefully, because I'm starving. 
If you want to see the actual beauty of the botanical gardens, I highly recommend going like late spring, early summer, not like towards the end of summer because literally everything was pretty much dead <laughs> when I went. But I imagine it's really, really beautiful during peak season. Super romantic if you are going like for a date, highly recommend. I finally got in touch with my friend and so we changed our plans. Now we're gonna go get some sushi and all you can eat sushi spot in Brooklyn. So I'm gonna go freshen up and then meet him there. You guys know like how you can tell when someone made plans but they really don't wanna follow through with those plans. Yeah, that's what he was doing. So <laughs> basically he's not coming. So I'm gonna go to dinner by myself, which is nothing new, it's fine. Now y'all see why I just make plans with myself. So at this all-you-can-eat sushi spot, they give you a stack of menus and you write the amount of each item you'd like to order and you can order as much as you like. Just make sure you eat all of it or you'll be charged for the leftovers. So you guys can see the lights that they have shining for remembrance of 9-11 all the way from here in Brooklyn. Wow. You guys, I literally ate my weight in sushi. Like I ate way too much sushi to the point where I am now physically uncomfortable and I'm probably not gonna be able to go to bed for a while until all this food digests. But it was worth it. I needed it and I'm happy I did it. <laughs> I really needed this day to myself to just like recoup regroup and refresh from fashion week i was literally socially drained i don't know if that happens to you guys like when i'm around people for an extended period of time and i'm like talking to people and networking for an extended period of time i become so drained and i need to just take like a day or two to myself to kind of like get back to normalcy that's what today was i'm feeling so much better so much more energized ready to take on the next week well, that's all I have for you guys today. So, I will see you in the next video. Bye!